Hello and welcome to stage three of the all or nothing event where we are racing for the Koenigsegg Yesco. I still have no upgrades and this gets a lot more difficult. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. One way I've seen a Speedmaster do this in the past is just to get a little bit of, dra of tailgating in and let him go a whole lap and then get some more in and you have to stop in between because you're going to run out of fuel. And uh, I haven't checked out his video to see what he did, but I'm doing this a different way, which involves I'm going to really rough this guy up a bit and get a bit of tailgating in, but that's just because uh, I'm going to take this to corner one, the hairpin, and there's a wall there. And if you break a little bit late and shove the bot into the corner like you're going to see me do here, you can get him stuck behind this wall sometimes. Then you got to go block him right away. Okay, now it gets a little bit tricky. This is difficult. So now I've got to adjust my angle so that the distance is actually counting, even though I'm behind him. So I've got to just mess around with this a little bit. Okay, well, that's not going to work. A little bit more. I don't want him... See, what bots do these days when you get them trapped against a wall, they can get super aggressive to smash their way out. I probably worked on this for half an hour. I probably should have just done it the Speedmaster's way. But, um, oh well, look at this. It's now counting, and he's slowly moving. He's still on the throttle. You can see him moving, and in a bit, he's going to disengage from me, and then I'll have to readjust. Um, if you get this right the first time, you're laughing, but this isn't easy. I found this really difficult, and I did try it where I'd let him get past me and get a little bit more tailgating in. I kept running out of fuel because I was just too aggressive. I should have just taken it easier. Uh, I just thought this would be an interesting option for you guys. So there's always the option of get a bot trap behind a wall like this. And he's not fighting all that much, which I find interesting. Uh, other times he really fought to get free. If I was to stay very far away from him, if I back up too far, he will gun it in reverse and get out of here. And he'll get around this pretty quickly. Bots have interesting programming to get unstuck when they're trapped behind a wall. Now this is not much to watch. You can still see though, I'm almost done. And then we're gonna move on to the second race. There we go. So either way, it was gonna take about that long. So there you go, kind of a creative solution. Now, this one, I also had a lot of trouble with. I tell you what, these developers are getting smart. Maybe they're watching my channel. I don't know, guys. Average speed events, in the past I said if they're difficult, just turn around, drive the other way for a while, and then turn back, and you'll have no trouble hitting average speed. Oh well, yeah, yeah, right, with, de with these degrading tires? I don't think so. So, you gotta be really careful. Like, if you're gonna go off track at all, like I just did there, off track driving will degrade your tires more. Um, skidding, sliding around will degrade your tires more. Now, if this was different, if this was cold tires that need to warm up, ah, uh, skidding then makes them warm up quicker, off track makes that slow down a bit. So, I'm going off track, but I'm gonna try not to skid while I'm off track. The reason why I'm going off track is to carry more speed. I'm straightening out these corners. Now, you could cut this big corner, it's really not to your benefit. So I'm just gonna try not to skid, get in the throttle here. And I can't, I definitely can't stay full throttle through this corner, which you usually could on almost every single car. Oh, that was a lot of sliding. That's a little bit worrisome. I'm even gonna cut this corner. So this is getting pretty aggressive. Um, people have already been asking me if this can be finished with no upgrades. I don't know, I haven't finished it yet. I'm still working on it, so I can't answer that. Um, I'd be surprised. So <clears throat> stage two already had some hard races and stage three, uh, I'd say all of it is hard. Now, I'm doing pretty good this time. I spent a while on this one, getting my braking point styled in. Gotta be on the brakes so stinking easy in hypercars. Good, the good Eve. Uh, I was on the brakes a little bit early that time, it looks, but still, I've built over 200 miles an hour, just lost a bunch. Now the car gets snaky, though. You can lose everything you've built at this point. Like, here I was worried. I'm just like, oh, great. It's like driving on ice. And, yeah, okay, still not pretty close to building up that speeding, and I'm going to cut this corner, but mostly drifting. You can see not really on the gas too much. Don't want to slide. Oh... 
Uh, this ain't easy. You might not want to be doing all this. This is getting to a lot of acrobatics to avoid upgrades. And yes, people will look at my currency and say, why are you doing all this? Why don't you just buy the upgrades? I do this for the challenge and also to show you guys how you could do it if you are low on currency, like a lot of people are. I would, my currency could disappear in a day if I started upgrading all the cars that I could still upgrade, and not to mention cars that I've skipped. Um, it is still possible to do everything in this game without spending money. Uh, a fellow, a viewer, was just messaging me about that today, well, I shouldn't say messaging, commenting one of my videos, or yesterday, I read it today. And that's definitely true. I know quite a few people who can keep getting everything done without spending any actual money. Now that time I hit that wall a bit to help me to slow down so I could turn this corner. Uh, you gotta be really dedicated and spend a lot of time on this game, not on a bunch of games. But it's possible, just so you know. All right, there we go. That wasn't easy. Now, let's get to this third race. This also is kind of interesting. Um, it's not easy with no upgrades to hit speed three times. Two times it is, three times it isn't. I could hit speed right here. I'd have to brake very late and then heavily brake drift the corner here. So this time I'm opting not to do that. I thought maybe if I'm in control of the last corner, it would be easier to hit speed. And again, those developers, they must be watching my channel and hearing my advice. Um, now that we have someone breathing down our backside, you can't just take it easy. You can't let him pass you and then give him the pit maneuver. You'll fail. Uh, you cannot let Eric overtake. So it's a bit tricky to keep an F5 behind your bumper. I mean, come on, that's a monster of a car. So, yeah. Need to set up where we're going to hit speed, which you'll see. Coming up on it pretty quickly here. So you want to set it up. What does that mean? Make sure you're braking maybe a pinch early so that you can get to the throttle nice and early. If you brake too late, you're on the throttle too late and you will not have room for your speed run. So this corner here, we want to brake just maybe a skosh early like that and then have a nice long speed run. You gotta take this corner very early so you can take it straight. And if you get this right, remember the last chicane you can cut without it being off track. No off track is allowed during this event. And this is old school, man. So any off track at all, boom, instant fail. So here I have to hit speed. So I'm gonna really be watching that speedometer. I should be watching for a two to appear. Uh, now, there you go. So I'm gonna throw it into a skid a bit here. That worked out pretty good. Could have done it a bit better, but not bad. Eric really caught up on me. Hard to lose Eric here. Now I want you to watch closely what happens, not at this corner, but the next one, the drive off. Watch where I go. Way over there, that is not off track. Even though it looks like it was, it's not off track. And you'll know, when you try this, you'll know. If you go off track at all, with all four tires, not two, four. Must be all four tires, not even three. You can have, just you just need one tire on track and you're okay. But if you get all four off track, boom, instant fail. So one more place, I need to hit speed. Now I need to get this right. I've managed to gap Eric a little bit, not much. Oh. Ah, he, he's staying on me pretty close here, so I feel like I have to do a bit of blocking. Oh, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, was that ever close? That's close to failure. Okay, oh, come on, Eric. Now that's interesting. Okay, he gave me a bit of a push, not much. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Okay, there we go. Take this corner very carefully, because I did this once and failed right here. Right after I hit my last speed run. Ah, frustrating. Okay, now man, Eric. Um, bots take that last chicane very bad. They st they keep all four tires on track and we don't have to. Letting them catch up a little bit, not too much. There we go. Okay, last race time trial. I failed this one my first try, so this time I'm getting a little bit more polished. Um, don't bother trying to spin around. And you, there's not enough room to really change um, the start of the lap. Sometimes, you can slam on the brakes and readjust your entry into the first lap. You can't do that with this one. I don't think you can. So you just got to really dial this in. Brake early for this corner. I have a habit of braking too late. Brake early and then stay full throttle, which means get the trajectory correct. Utilize that area. Trajectory correct is what I meant to say. 
and you got to be pretty dialed for this one. So I wouldn't say that you have to be too incredible, but if you can do a group C, upper group C weekly time trial, you can do this. A lot of it is just being careful breaking. Yeah, I mean, that was okay. Um, we'll see here. I'm, gonna try. I'm, I'm not going to stay full throttle here. I don't think I can. Maybe if I got it just perfect, I could. In this corner, I'm not quite sure about, so I'm probably going to overbreak a little bit. Well, that's pretty good, actually. I'm not, I'm not upset with that. Oh, that was very close to going off track as well. And remember, last chicane, that's where it makes the difference here. That's where you can gain a couple of seconds. Okay, braking nicely and pretty blind, but I don't know, this is feeling tight. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, I get nervous at this corner. I clipped that wall once in a really difficult event. I've never gotten over it, even though that was oh, six years ago. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's it. Please like, please subscribe. Here's the playlist, link, and something else for your viewing pleasure. Thank you for joining me today.